Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of place value, specifically how we can use place value to compare and order whole numbers and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see over on the left we have the land area of just 5 different states. There are more, but 5 different states that are under 6,000 square miles. And our task here is to list them in order from largest to smallest. So we see we've got 5 states. I'll go ahead and give myself five numbers here and sometimes when you are asked to compare and order real objects or real quantities like this they might not say from greatest to least or least to greatest and your job is to try to figure out which way it's going by using these words and so largest to smallest we need to make sure we understand is going from greatest to least but when you get a problem like this in fourth grade they're probably not going to use those exact words they'll use other words fastest the slowest uh, highest, lowest, something like that. So first we're going to, we, we need to make sure that all of our numbers go to the same place value. And they do. They all have five digits, which means they all go to the ten thousandths place. If they didn't, that would immediately give us uh, one that would either go in the front as the largest or in the back as the smallest. But they all go to the same spot. And as you can tell, they all have a five in the ten thousandths place because we are going to compare these numbers. So we can't use that. So as we could see, it's going to be this thousands digit. That's going to give us a lot of information right now. We're going to look for the largest digit there. And we see Georgia right here. That's got that seven. So that's going to be the highest one. So when we rewrite our list, we're going to go ahead and put the names. Even though we are comparing and ordering their uh, areas and square miles, it's going to be the names that would show up on the answer choices if this were a test question. So now that we're done with this seven, let's look at the next highest digit. And you see we've got two fives. I've got Illinois and Iowa both with five, which means we're going to have to go to the next digit. That's the hundreds place. And in this case, it's this eight, slightly bigger than this five. So we're going to mark out Iowa. Let's circle that, get rid of it. And then Illinois. And then all we need to do is just find the next one, and then the last one will be whichever one's left. Looks like it's going to be this Wisconsin, because that's got a four in the thousands place. So Wisconsin is next. And then finally, we'll end it up with Florida. So that's the smallest of just these five. There are other ones. So let's look at a different example. So we have a new problem here. The heights of five horses are listed below. We see them all in centimeters. And here's our question. If these horses were listed from shortest to tallest, we're going to have to figure that out. That's going to be from least to greatest. Which one would be fourth on the list? See, this is kind of a tricky question because we're going to have to put them in order and then we're going to have to find the fourth one on the list. So first, let's go ahead and put them in order. I'm going to show you a new way to do it. Let's put the smallest one first because it's the shortest to tallest. So they all go to the hundreds place. So that's fairly easy. So let's look at the next place. And I see in the tens place, we have five, seven, six, five, and seven. So it's these two fives I want to look at right here. And when those are both fives, we're going to be looking at the ones place. So it's this horse A's that's going to be the very smallest. So I'm going to write this. I'm going to write 154. I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the value because we're going to list it as a big string of 154 is less than 159 because that's the that's the first this is the second one and then what comes next it's going to be this 163 because that's got a six in the tens place and we're going to say is less than 163 so you can put them all in order like this this is just like listing them like we did in the previous one and then i've got two left i've got 71 and i've got 78 so i'm going to list my horse e that's going to be 171. That's the fourth one. So that's what we're looking for. And then this final one is going to be 178. So let's just make sure we have everything in order. 54, 59, 63, 71, and 78. So we would say, which one would be fourth on the list? And then your answer would not be 171. Your answer is going to be which horse. So which horse is 171? That's going to be horse E. So if this were a multiple choice on a test, it would have different horse names, different horse letters. The answer would be horse.